Uh, hi SMC student, my name is Clara and if you're wondering how to spell it, yeah this is how you spell it, it's okay, it's hard, Starbucks never get it right either. So, well anyways, so today I was thinking about giving you guys a little bit of a school tour of the main campus here on SMC. Uh, so basically right now I'm on the quad, which is the alley of palm trees that I'm pretty sure you've seen if you googled SMC. And this is basically the center of the SMC main campus. I'm gonna show you like all the buildings and what everything is, uh, but this is basically like the, the middle part, so we're gonna walk around it. Uh, so I hope this is gonna be helpful for you guys that are coming from like another country, like myself, or maybe out of state that actually can't go here and look at the campus before you start school here. So yeah, uh, hopefully this is gonna be helpful and yeah, let's get started. Okay, so today I'm actually only showing you the main campus, but Santa Monica College actually do have more campuses and only one. We have the Bundy campus, the Performing Arts campus, the CMD campus, the Malibu campus. There's a lot. And to the Bundy and the Performing Arts campus and CMD you can actually take a shuttle which is very convenient. So you either take that one at Pico or Pearl Street and there should be a shuttle going at least once every 30 minutes but you should check that because that might change. So I'm gonna start to show you guys the buildings in the edge of the quad closest to Pico which is the Theater Arts building administration and records, Dresher Hall, and the ASS building. So behind me is a theater building, and if you turn around, that is the administration and records building. And behind me there, which you can't really see, is the Dresher Hall. And if you turn around again, that's the ASS building. Then the theater building is right across from the admissions building. And that's where I spend a lot of my time. I have taken a lot of acting classes, movement classes and stuff like that. They also host a lot of shows there, which is required if you take any performance arts class. So that might also be really good to know. Right here at the theater arts building, there's also the box office right there and if you're taking any like performing arts classes like dance classes acting classes they sell all the tickets to the dance shows to the theater shows anything right behind me over there is construction it's gonna be the new student services building they might like switch some offices up uh, to put in there but it's a really nice like big new building so hopefully it's gonna be good so the administration and records building is right out of the pico it's right at, at the bus stop but it's a very hidden building and small but you're probably gonna have to go there at one point or the other if you go here to ask for transcripts or your official records or something like that so it's actually kind of good to know where it is and also one thing that i think you guys are going to think is very useful is in the quad there is a lot of like lampposts, like that one right over there. And those lampposts or lamps have ports so you can charge your phone. That's gonna be a really useful thing if you come here with your phone, because your phone is gonna die. So right now I'm standing right next to the ASS building, uh, Humanities and Social Science building. And I'm not sure how much you can hear me because of the fountain. Well, it's pretty, but it's not that convenient when it comes to sounds. Uh, and also here we have the cafeteria area So it's a little nice spot to just like relax and eat and stuff like that in this building I have had psychology classes English classes econ classes and a little bit of everything This building is actually quite large Like the first floor Second and third and just so I don't forget right behind me is Dresher Hall. It's not really a special building, it's just very very huge. I have had English classes, uh, geography classes, and I think that's about it. So I think they do mix subjects a little bit too. So let's leave the quad for a little bit and let's go to the business building. So behind me, right here, is the business building. Here is where I have spent a lot of classes since I'm a business major. I've taken my accounting classes here, my business classes, and also just spending a lot of time because I'm Swedish. <laughs> it's not a joke though, 
if you want to meet any Swedish people, you should probably go to the business building because there is tons. I know this because I'm Swedish and a lot of Swedish people take business majors. So I don't know, fun fact, I guess. But they do actually have the cosmetology school here too. So there's more than just a business building. Let me show you. Right in the end of the hall, we actually have the business tutoring center, which is really, really helpful. If you start at Santa Monica, I would actually really recommend to go to the tutoring centers. We have a ton. I went to the business tutoring center for my business law class and my accounting classes, and honestly, it was very, very helpful. You can go there to get help with homework, just ask questions if you don't understand something, and they are really helpful. It's actually students that work there, uh, but they're usually really, really good, so I would absolutely recommend that. And a little bit down the hall, at the Orange Lockers, we have the Cosmetology School. And I do actually think that you can go there for services if you want to. Uh, I'm not 100% sure exactly what services they do and how much they are, but I'm pretty sure you can call them and check their website to, if you want to know more about that. And here we actually have the first business class that I took. I took it right there in that room. Memories. Uh, next, I'm gonna go upstairs and show you the computer lab. So outside, right behind this door, is actually the Business Center computer lab which uh, SMC has a lot of computer labs. We have the Caden Center where you can print things. We have the library computer lab and like the science building computer lab. But this is actually the computer lab that I've been to a lot, not only because I'm a business student, but also because they're open really late on Fridays. And that's also another tip. If you actually want to get like really efficient work done, go to school and study. I can never study at home because I can never focus and this is actually the only computer lab that are open to like 10.30 I believe on Friday so just keep that in mind. There, so right there is the computer lab but yeah let's keep going. So behind me right here is one of the parking structure at SMC. The next to the business buildings are actually two parking structures. And one thing that you might want to know if you're starting at SMC is that parking here is just well known that it sucks. People can't find parking. It takes like 30 minutes to find parking even if you have a parking pass and people often come late to class because they didn't find parking. So that might be a thing to think about, like maybe take a bus, an Uber, and like use your little like card and your AS stickers to ride the big blue bus for free. That's just my tip because spending like 30 minutes trying to find parking is not worth it. Um, that's just my opinion, but um, it's up to you. Another fun little fact, at SMC, there is so many small weird places that it's very random uh, that you can go and just sort of be alone, like study, just be by your lonesome if you don't like people. Um, but yeah, just go ahead and explore the campus, try to find them. SMC actually do have two pools, which I have never used. But I do believe that you can like get in there with your like SMC student ID card or like pay small fee or something to get in there. Um, and I do think they have like swimming classes there, but I'm not too familiar about that. So, but it's like some, something to check out. I'll try to find some information about the pool and the fees and everything and link it in the description box below. Okay, so behind me is Treasure Hall, the ASS building and the parking structure. Right behind me, hopefully you can see, it's a beautiful building that I actually love. It's the core performance building. And here they hold like fitness classes, a lot of dance classes, which I'm super excited about. Uh, before this building actually was built, I used to have dance classes in like the gym, which they were so small, like no lighting, like very old, it was horrible. Right now the dance classes are in such like new, fresh, huge location with a lot of lighting and it's great. There's also brand new locker rooms with showers and bathrooms. You can actually get ready in there if you want to. And they have lockers that you can put your things in like over like a day. They actually clean them out like in the end of the day, but you can put them there from I think like 8 a.m. or like 7 a.m. to I think 10 p.m. So like we don't really have lockers here, but I guess that's like something. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys. Let's go. And also, isn't this so freaking cute? They build like a little like mini quad chill area right here. It's honestly very, very nice. Right now we're on the second floor of the building. I used to have my dance class on the third floor, 
but on the second floor is like the changing rooms and everything and so right now I'm in the locker rooms I'm just trying to make sure that nobody's in the pictures because yeah privacy issues and yeah but this is basically how the lockers looks like they're not huge but they're basically like big enough so you can fit everything that you need to right there oh and there's sand I think that's because we have like volleyball classes and stuff like that that it's actually cold at the beach and I also serve classes which might be a fun fact for you guys to see because I think this is weird so right now we're on the third floor and I kind of just wanted to show you guys how like the dance classes looks like they are huge and so nice uh, okay so let's go to the gym and the field next okay Next to the core performing center and the gym is the course airs field where like the home football games are played so if you're interested in uh, maybe playing football for SMC uh, you're probably gonna have your practices here. I did cheerleading here so yeah we used to be like on the other side cheering so if you play any sports or are gonna take any fitness classes you're gonna probably have it here or in the gym and probably changed in one of these buildings but anyways good luck and wear a lot of sunscreen because we're in California and it's sunny so let's say bye to the field and head to the gym so they actually renovated the gym so it looks a lot nicer than it did before I did not manage to get inside a gym but I'll try to insert some pictures from basketball season but if you play like basketball volleyball or some other kind of sports you might have it like in the gym and practice in the gym or have your games in the gym I remember yeah when we did cheerleading we cheered for the basketball team in the gym so yeah that's basically what the SMC gym is for <laughs> and perfect timing right outside the gym we actually have the math complex it's a one-story building it's very old classrooms and uh, very bad lighting and AC so it's not my favorite classrooms I actually had like an econ class here too and but they do have math tutoring here so, which is really really good so let me go inside to show you guys I'm actually so excited that I've never had to take a math class in here I took my math class at Bundy campus so I never had to be here since I haven't really been here, it's kind of hard to find things, but I'm gonna try to find... Nope. So I finally found it, the math lab, thanks to some very, very nice and helpful students. So the math lab is basically like the tutoring center for math. So if you're taking a math class here, you can book like free tutoring with one of the tutors here. So I would really recommend to take advantage of that. I did not when I took my math class and... Um, I think it's a very very good tool because math can be confusing which this uh, building is so it's I guess it's kind of fitting though but um yeah let's leave so after making it through the math complex we actually made it to Pearl Street which is like the end of the SMC <laughs> campus So in the other end of SMC, opposite from uh, Pico, is Pearl Street and there's a lot of things going on here. There's a lot of neater parkings if you don't have your parking pass and there's also a bunch of food trucks where you can eat and if you're international you're gonna want to know this street because there is a lot of offices that we have to go to if you're international. First of all we have the International Counseling Center in this little blue building right here. If you are an international student you're definitely gonna have to go here to the International Counseling Center. It is a little bit confusing though because the International Counseling Center is in a little blue house off campus. So on one of the corners of Pearl Street is the ESL building where they have like all the ESL classes. And we also have the IEC office where we have to do a lot of paperwork for immigration, for traveling and a lot of other stuff which I'm gonna show you. I decided to leave Pearl Street and walk down like the main pathway of SMC like to the uh, SMC quad where we find the library and also the cadence center over there and we also have the liberal arts building right behind me there and the letters and science building right here which I'm gonna show you guys
I'm gonna show you all the library. So right when you get in here, you have some computers and then like a little seating area with like leather chairs. It's honestly like the best place ever, I think, for students because usually there's a lot of students sleeping there or like just relaxing before like another class. So, and I'm gonna show you some other nap places because that actually might be a very necessary thing. Don't listen to your counselors, I got the inside scoop. <laughs> What's actually important. So in the library, there's a lot of like small study areas, which I'm gonna show you. And there's so many floors. <laughs> so it's gonna be very, very hard to show you all of it, but um, yeah, so I'm gonna go down to the first floor and here's one of those like study area places where a lot of students just sit, study for tests or like do their homework before class. I'm gonna show you one of the most important things I think because let's be honest, we use computers for everything nowadays. So in the library, you can also print things. However, you do actually have to pay for that. If you have your AS cards and pay your AS fees, you can actually print for free in the Cajun Center, which I'm gonna show you in a little bit. But yeah, if you didn't do that, you can actually pay to print right here in the printers in the library. And so you just like buy a card and then print in the printers right there in front of all, all the computers. So I'm now in the library computer lab. So I think one of my best tips that I can actually share with you guys is the library like computer scanner, which some professors don't really require you to buy books or they require you to buy books, but they put books on reserve here in the library. So you basically can like borrow them for like two hours, but you have to stay in the library and then have, you have to return it. So that you basically can read the book, but you don't really have to buy it. But still you have to be in the library so one of the girls that worked here actually recommended me to scan the book so i can actually leave the library and read it at home on both sides of the computer lab here in the library there's actually like seating areas right here that basically all the students use for a nap time students we get it we understand life is hard and school is hard so take a nap people take naps okay so i'm gonna take you guys to another floor other than like this small study areas with a table and everything that you can sit with a group, there are also like individual study areas, like small cubicles that you can sit at. <laughs> I'm trying to be quiet so I don't disturb them. But it's basically like a table for yourself, you can charge your phone, <laughs> be antisocial. So the library is actually very, very confusing. <laughs> there are so many floors with so many like study areas. This on the second floor, or I guess like the second half floor is complicated. Go here by yourself, try to discover <laughs> and everything. It used to be a computer lab over there. Um, but yeah, it's a little bit hard to show like the layout of, out of this. Uh, but yeah, we're basically back in the main part, other study areas where we came in. And we're going to another floor. So here is actually a floor that I think you guys are gonna appreciate. This is basically on the third or fourth floor, depending on how you see it, because the layout is very confusing here. But here is study rooms that you can actually rent for like two hours, I believe. So how you rent one of these rooms is you go to the front desk, you say that you wanna rent one of these like study rooms, and you have to be three or more people, and one of you guys have to leave their SMC ID card, and then you get the key to the room. And it's very helpful if you guys are working on like a project, or you guys just need like a long time to discuss school or something like that. The only requirement is that you basically have to be three people there and give one of your SMC ID cards right there. But they're pretty nice, spacious. You get pens to write on the whiteboard. It's like a little conference room, basically. There's also nice artwork here, I guess. And on the other side, there's even more study rooms. So they usually don't run out, but um, at fall semester, when everybody's really busy, they might. Let's keep walking. So let's leave the library. Okay, so one more thing that the library has is books, which might be surprising for some of you. Um, I'm not sure if you're gonna use these, <laughs> because let's be honest, everything is online these days, and um, you can actually buy everything basically as online books, and for most classes you have to have like an online code, so old school books are not really used that anymore. But it might be like an important feature to know that the library has books, I don't know we're leaving the library so now i'm outside the library on this side 
the letters and science building are on this side and also back there the liberal arts building however they're not that interesting buildings i'm so sorry to say that uh, so i don't think i'm gonna show them but uh, right now we're walking to the Caden center and the cafeteria which might be a little bit more interesting so coming down this way from the library is the cafeteria through the red door and the Caden center up these stairs and just by the way we have something great here on campus called recycled trash cans which you should absolutely use just a little side note because you know recycling is important so right now we're in the Caden center where we have the AS computer lab which you're allowed to use if you're an AS member uh, and you're also allowed to use like free printing for like $15 a semester if you paid your AS fees so yeah this is the Caden center people usually sit here to like study or relax and you're not allowed to eat here though um, which a lot of people don't really care about um, but yeah it's a pretty chill area usually a lot more people here it's kind of empty right now but uh, I'm gonna show you another cool thing if you're an AS member so down this hall we have the associate student office which is closed right now however if you are an AS member and paid your AS fees, you can actually go here to get free blue books and free scantrons, so you don't really have to pay for that. And it's only the green scantrons and the, well, the blue book. So if your professor wants another scantron, it's not gonna work, but uh, that's also a little bit of a tip if you have your AS sticker. And honestly, free stuff is always good, right? Okay, so let's walk outside. There's also a little like patio area here with a little, I think it's like called foosball table where like a lot of like soccer players. So if you want to play that, go ahead. If you have any free time, that is. So let's leave the Cato Center and go to the cafeteria. So here's the cafeteria. There's actually a lot of options here, um, even if I don't really eat here. Honestly, the SMC cafeteria food do, do not have the best reputation. I would say, in my opinion, it's a little bit overpriced. Like the food is fine and everything like that, but they charge a little bit too much for it. They do have good options though. Like they have chicken, a lot of fast food, which is bad. They have sushi and like a salad bar and stuff like that. So the off there is a lot of options. However, yeah, like I said, I think it's a little bit overpriced. So I always like bring food from home a granola bar or something like that and there is some other options down here too and there's also a Starbucks if you like Starbucks let us go through the cafeteria to the outside seating and to the bookstore anyways but now we're gonna go from the cafeteria to the bookstore and also like the outside seating area right here so outside the cafeteria is actually one of uh, the many seating areas where you can eat and also down there is some more seating I know especially this one with the stone tables, there is a lot of Swedish people always eating. I don't know why, I think it's because this place always gets a lot of sun and I guess Swedish people are deprived of sunlight. Well, it makes sense. So behind me here is the bookstore. It's like one of the places that you actually can get your books from. However, <laughs> I wouldn't recommend to get your books from here. I would recommend to buy your books. If you don't need an online code, I would say try to buy your books from other students. So either go online, Amazon has a lot of books, uh, the unofficial Facebook SMC website has a lot of books too, where students sell them. So there is a lot of other options that you can use. However, I will say though, the SMC bookstore has cheaper energy drinks than the vending machines which i just discovered right now so i'm a little bit sad that i did not know that during the years that i gone here because energy drinks is a necessity for some students and uh, i would have saved a lot of money from that uh, i used to purchase my energy drinks in the vending machines which is like three dollars and in the bookstore they were like two right now i'm walking from the bookstore and the theater building towards the science building and also the arts building right here. So this is actually kind of a cool area. Uh, right here we have a little garden, which I think a few classes actually use to like grow things, I think, but I'm not sure. Then we have like the arts building behind here somewhere. 
it's very like hidden um, and then of course we have the huge science building right here and just so I don't forget before I go into the science building right there behind me is like health services or like the nurse so if you ever feel sick or anything like that uh, go there I think they have Advil and stuff like that um, non-prescription medications and all that jazz and also the welcome center okay so let's go to the science building Honestly, this building is a little bit hard to show. It's very beautiful though. Uh, it's pretty new and I've only had one class in this building, which is Bio 3, I believe, <laughs> with a lab. And I think that's why I had it here because it was a lab class. And it's a kind of a new building, I believe, with a lot of like really fresh locations or classrooms. I was kind of surprised by the resources or like some of the resources that the lab labs have for some of the student projects. Behind here is the little middle part of the science building which I guess you can sit down hang out with the flora if I remember that right if it's called that. So the science department do have their own computer lab. I'm not too familiar with their study or like the tutoring here but I'm pretty sure it should be in one of these buildings but I'll try to link their information if I can find it. This is basically how the science building look like. It's large. It's very large. So many floors. Honestly I don't get why more people don't hang out here. This is a nice place. I think we're done with the science building. Let's continue. Okay, so walking out from the science building, which usually looks a little bit prettier, uh, we have the liberal arts building right there, and the letters and science building right there, and the cafeteria and uh, catering center right there. Yeah, I don't know what you're doing right now. Uh, it usually looks a little bit prettier, but let's continue. Okay, so we're going to the back of the school again. So if you start school here, you're gonna notice that there's a lot of like small path. I think it's called path. Uh, like between the buildings that you can take to the different locations and buildings that you're going to. However, that's gonna be very hard for me to explain. So that is just something that you're gonna have to figure out by yourself. Right behind me is, I guess, Bertrand's office. I'm not really sure how to pronounce that. Uh, but that's basically where you go to pay fees and to get your SMC ID card if you lose it. I have done that a few times. It costs like $20. It's not worth the money. Keep track of that. And also, if you're just trying to renew your sticker for the new semester, you can just go to one of these little tents that they usually set up just to like renew your stickers. We're reaching the end of this little tour. Here in the end at the corner of the campus is actually the counseling center for in-state students and also the IEC office for us international students. So it's right here in one of the like small bungalows. Right here. So yeah, so this is basically where we go to get forms uh, if we need to travel or do like anything that has to do with immigration. That's what I've been a lot of times. So it's like right in the corner on Pearl Street. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna show you guys the liberal arts building because you're probably gonna have to go here and take your test. Okay, so I'm taking back what I said about the liberal arts building. You're gonna have to know about the liberal arts building because the assessment test happens right there in that door, in fact. So before you start SMC, you're gonna have to take an assessment test to see what math and English you place in. And from what I remember, it all happens on a computer, so you don't have to bring anything. However, I would definitely recommend to study for this test. All the material that you're gonna need is on SMC's webpage, so please study for it because if you don't study for this and actually do bad on the test, you're gonna be placed in a lower math and English class, which means that you're gonna have to take more units to do the required English and math class you're gonna have to do for your minor, major, or whatever you're doing. And that also means that you're gonna have to spend more money, do more units. Honestly, studying for this test is gonna benefit you so much. So coming from the back of the school to where we started. So we're back where we started at the SMC quad or at least at the other side of the SMC quad 
But yeah, this was everything from my SMC main campus school tour. I hope you enjoyed it and that, that it helped a little bit or made you feel a little bit more comfortable about coming here for school if you're not a California resident and can't really check out the campus. I basically only showed you like the main big buildings. There are a lot of small offices inside of those buildings too. Okay, and I also have to say a huge thank you to all of you guys that actually came up to me to say hi today that have watched my other SMC videos. It's so much fun to meet you guys and actually to see that it helped you guys. Anyways, that was everything that I had to show you guys today. Thank you so much for watching and welcome to SMC. Bye guys. Bye. <laughs>